Hi everyone. Today I'll be doing a brooch for a friend, and she wanted it ruby red. So I'm going to be using this delicious holographic glitter from Hemway, which is absolutely beautiful, very sparkly. First, I'll be doing the teeth with Let's Resin UV resin and a bit of white paste, which I put into this little bottle and I added a few bearing balls to help shake the liquid. Good thing, once I've finished, I just put it in a dark box so I can reuse it later. To get those pearly whites, I do this part slowly and in short intervals. I use my Let's Resin torch to cure. Just keep adding bit by bit till you complete the teeth area. Careful not to dislodge any of the pieces. Once you're done, put it under your UV lamp and make sure that you cure it properly on both sides for a good five minutes. So once it's curing, I've prepared already my resin. I'm using Let's Resin one to one and I prepared 50 grams. Not that I need it, 30 grams would have been enough. Here I added approximately half a teaspoon full of this beautiful mica powder which I got on Etsy. It's called Iron Oxide Red. I chose this red because it's got a warm undertone, which means it's got a hint of yellow. If I wanted more of a cold undertone, it would have a hint of blue. Now comes the best bit. This red holographic from Hemway, wow, makes my eyes twerk in their sockets. I just love it. I'm going to use, I don't know, about two spoonfuls just to give it that pizzazz. Oh boy, I, I, I'm just loving this glitter. Look at, just look at that colour. It's beautiful. I am in love with this red and with the holographic even more. Just love it. So I'm going to pour it into my mould just midway Looks like jam. I'm actually just going to pour it halfway. That way I can tap it and eliminate any bubbles that might be underneath to make sure. Just tap tap. And then I'm going to pour it right to the top, make sure that I don't overspill, but dome it just enough so that later, when I do demold, I don't have to sand it down or cut any sharp edges. With the leftovers, don't throw it. Have a mold at hand and you can use it. I always have one and I like to use this heart mold that I have, which is perfect to give out as for friends, for gifts, as you want. Make sure that you clean your mould in case you have any bits and bobs still left in, which I always do. Of course it is. These cards are fantastic little gifts that you can give out. Pocket hugs, key rings. They're great. Kids love them. So I left these overnight to cure and they came out perfect. I absolutely love them. Such a shame you can't appreciate the colour through a screen. Now for the wood big whopper. I have a hard time demoulding as always. Let's see. There we go. Yay! Okay, I'm happy. Rubylicious. I hope my friend is too. So I'm going to be using E600 Plus glue so that I can put a pin behind and turn it into a brooch. I like to actually put the glue on a piece of card 
so not to spoil any of my brushes. I suppose you can also use a spatula and then just peel it off. But it is quite comfortable to actually use a card. You can turn these projects into magnets, keychains, necklaces, whichever you prefer. But my friend, she wanted a brooch, so I'm doing a brooch. Make sure that you spread the glue all over. Get right to the edge. Make sure there's glue everywhere. And then I like to pin it to the very top. Push it down firmly for a couple of seconds. Just push it down firmly. And now it's now at the top and it won't topple over. Here's a glimpse of the end product. Hope you enjoyed it.